So good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Tiger. I'm from uh, Aikaha, and I've been last four years as a technical support. I, I think uh, many of you have been emailing with me. Uh, it's really nice to be here. Uh, it's my first time in WLPC conference. Uh, actually, I was not asked to make this presentation. Became uh, I was so very relaxed when I came, but. Uh, <laughs> The other day, uh, during the lunch time, I got a ticket from Keith. He opened the ticket and asked, Tiger, can you make a presentation? <laughs> uh, ask me to, to talk about the support. So uh, I, I have to respond. Yes, that's why I, I, I'm up here today. Yeah. Just close the ticket. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I think I enjoyed uh, all you guys have been uh, talking this stuff very technically and so on. But today, I, what I'm going to talk is only my experience at support and my thought. So I think in support, I, it's just my experience. I think this time to respond to customer is just number one thing. Uh, because uh, nowadays everybody is very busy and uh, we are di dictated by the time. And uh, I also learned this uh, from, from life myself. For example, I, uh, a few years ago, I, I had a problem with my printer, edge printer. Then I, I started to contact support. But it, it took three days for me to get something back. So at that moment, I, I said to myself, uh, I would never buy any product from this guy. So um, I support, I, I, we try to uh, respond the customer uh, ticket in one hour, and sometimes in half an hour, because I know this is super important to customers. So they know some, somebody is working on that ticket and is helping you. And if you think there are two scenarios in one, you get a ticket, scenario A. You got an you got, uh, uh, email from uh, support saying that we are working on the ticket in half an hour. And uh, in two days, the, the case is solved. Another case is that you open the ticket, but you don't get any feedback. And in, in the end of second day, this case is solved, which one you prefer, even though the, the end result is the same. And another thing why we want to uh, give a uh, response is that in most of the case, the customer don't, don't say very clearly what was their request. They just say, okay, this is not working, that is not working. But you, you kind of start to imagine, okay, this could be the problem, this and that. But when you, you have this email conversation, you, you kind of ask customer to elaborate what would be the, the real case. So you thought at the beginning this might be the, the, the problem A. Actually, in the end, it might be the problem B. So this is super important in our case that we always ask customer to elaborate the use case. So it helps us to the point in the end. The, uh, this is uh, the thing, uh, I think uh, this uh, timing, uh, time to respond, that's why I think it's the number one important thing. Another thing that I always put myself into customer's shoes. It seems when I got a, a support ticket, I, I put myself as a customer. So it's like I'm talking to myself. I have this uh, request. I, I'm so, I need, I need support. So when you put yourself in customer's shoes, you, are, you kind of can wholeheartedly try to solve the problem. You are not like a cold support, or you, you are not like answering machine. You try your best. You treat customer your friend, you know. I really love the customers. Most, most of them are really friendly, and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. And also, uh, very often now, thanks to the community, thanks to KISS, now we have so many new 
uh, customers in the Wi-Fi industry. So they, some, I, I realized some of them a little bit afraid to ask questions because they, they are a little bit afraid to ask stupid questions. So because uh, me too, when I was young, I also had the same feeling. So every time I try to encourage the customer. So I think this is going to be your question. And we have some uh, simple uh, training videos may help you. This is the way I try to communicate with customer. And also, I, I also try to encourage them. That, for example, uh, if the case is uh, partially solved by the customer, I always say that, okay, well done. You have managed to solve the problem. Great, something like that. So next time, they are not so afraid to ask stupid questions. And this way, I think we can grow the the customer's interest to, to the community, to the technology, and to the product. This is super important. These are all based on my, my life uh, learnings myself. And also, uh, very often, we got uh, the request like, OK, it's normally they are new customers, but somehow they are given a really uh, complicated task. OK, my boss asked me to design this uh, for this whole building, which consists of 30 floors and so on. How can I do that? But in this case, uh, some, some people may say, OK, this is our, not our duty to do your job. Please try to learn this, blah, blah, blah. So in my case, I always give them kind of uh, simple uh, training videos first. I told them, OK, probably you are new to the to the product, you are new to Agahouse site survey. These are the, the first videos may, may help you. And also, I try to give some uh, guidelines, simple guidelines. And in the end, if I have time, I try to do a planning for them. But in any case, I can ask them, OK, please follow this. If you can make a draft plan, send me to me. I try to check and help you to make it according to customer requirement. This is what we do. Uh, I think this is like this kind of uh, personal touch, I think is super important. So the customer feel, OK, I'm working really with a, a support which can help you. It's, I'm not working with a machine or answering machine or kind of code support. That's, that's my, only my experience. Uh, I'll try to want to share with you guys here. And another thing, it's uh, you. Somehow, I feel this um, environment, the product, is super important also to support myself. For example, I'm I'm really uh, passionate and in love with Igahouse Site Survey. It's so great product. It's so easy for the new users. Yeah, and also the team we have is so helpful. You know, uh, nowadays, technology, uh, from technology point of view, everybody is the same. But the, the, the thing that makes difference is the soft part. You get support from your colleagues, your teams. That's super important. <coughs> and what I do is that uh, also I have the habit, for example, um, in the morning, if I have to be in the office 9 o'clock, I, I'm making breakfast at 8 normally. But at the same time, I try to check. It's not asked by anyone, but I just uh, so eager to do these things and so eager to go to office. So I try to check some tickets and try to give the first reply. Why? Because you know many of our customers, for example, in APAC, they, it's their working time. They are waiting. If I do this at 8 o'clock, I can be like uh, respond one hour early when I'm in office at nine. That's I think is super important for the customer. So, so they get feedback one hour. That's super early. That's super important uh, in my opinion. Uh, that's only my kind of habit. By the way, I'm not a workaholic. So it's just this. I love this. Uh, product so much. I've been working with, with different companies. This is a, 
the first time I do like this. It's, I'm passionate about this. And I, I must thank you guys uh, to, to have created so good environment in this Wi-Fi community and so on. Uh, and another, another thing, uh, in example is that in my, uh, we have to think on behalf of our customer all the time. For example, some customers, uh, they want to use the previous release somehow, I don't know why, ESS6, ESS7, but they cannot find it anywhere. But luckily, I have all them in my share folder. When they have uh, asked this, I will try to provide the download link so they can download it, it quickly. Why? Because I learned this uh, hard way in my life. Some, about three years ago, I was uh, downloading this, uh, our ticket system, the mobile app. It was uh, because I wanted to, to serve customers better all the time. But suddenly one day, they have this uh, upgraded this. And my, my phone just don't work. And I contacted this company. They said, okay, uh, we had a bug. And uh, the, the solution is that either you buy a new mobile phone or you wait for the next release to fix. I said, I use this daily. Can you just uh, pro provide me the previous release which worked for me? No, they didn't. For some reason, they didn't want. So you understand my feeling. So I, I kind of stopped using that app. Yeah. Because it's so easy to think, why you don't help your, your customer? I'm your customer. I want to use your app. But for some reason, you don't want to give me the download. That's why I, I stored all the previous release of ESS. If the customer asks, no matter which release I provide, I just want to make their, their life easier. Uh, I think uh, uh, that's, uh, thank you again, everybody. I, I, I really like this community. That's only my personal uh, experience I thought. Uh, and also I th thank you, Keith, to give me the opportunity here. Thank you.